Well, so first of all, it's good to be here. I think um, for me personally, the entire motivation to be at this event is about this conversation, which is about how do we get connected thinking in the Southeast and the South South. Because I think when you have connected thinking and you begin to think strategically and not just in terms of transactions, we can get to a lot of the developments that we're actually talking about. I think when Jared was talking about that sort of constant conversation that happens between Oka, Enugu, Owere, Newi, in a way it's good because it's competitive between towns, which is not bad. But I also think that towns and communities have their DNA, right? So Owere's DNA is hospitality. People come to Owere generally. Enugu has always been a civil service town, has a lot of universities, a lot of schools around it. It has that young vibe, right? Onicha was really the market and the sort of the commercial, the commerce, right? Same thing with the Newi and of course our back. So it's kind of like, to me, it's a function of as small as the Southeast is, you know, geographically speaking, um, we know the roads are terrible at the moment. I know somebody earlier was saying it took them five hours to drive here from Nsukha, which is amazing. But if the roads are fixed and you have movement, as Colin said, this entire region is literally a hop. You can get anywhere, you can do anything. I think what Gerald is talking about is that if you're unaware, your market is the, could be the 11 states. I would say if you're unaware, your market is the world, especially if you're working with technology and you're offering a solution that can scale. But the thing is, it's about not locking yourself into where you're located. I think a lot of people sitting in the East have locked themselves in psychologically and are not able to think outside the box. And I think that's the conversation that needs to be driven because when you look at the East and you look at capacity, you look at young, the youth bulge, and you look at the energy, for me, I would love to see a lot more activity, right? In terms of, you know, I'm sure there's literally no government presence here today. And I think that's a pity even though I don't necessarily believe you need government every time, but you do need them in the ecosystem. You do need them in the value chain. I was listening to the, to the platform the, um, thing before. Somebody asked the question. Me and Boston were sitting there, and it's about the same thing. I think the banker actually misunderstood the question. I don't think the ICT guys here were necessarily looking to be contractors or vendors to anybody. So they don't need money for that. They need money to back their ideas which is a totally different thing, which our banks have actually not learned how to do yet. So you can't blame a creator because the people with the money don't understand how to lend that money. Because we have to find a way to break out of that cycle of denial. Because for me, a part of the major problem in Nigeria is that Nigerian banks don't back business. They don't risk. I mean, I don't know anybody who's actually gotten loans in the real sense. It doesn't happen. If you have your great capital, your free capital, your risk capital, go yourself. That's my initial statement.